I'll pay my check, walk straight into the kitchen, and shoot the cook. Cooking shows usually feature skilled cooks, but the Food Network's worst cooks in America is different. The show highlights the mayhem bad amateur cooks create when they are let loose in a kitchen. Brace yourself for the 15 most head-scratching moments from Worst Cooks in America. Teddy Bear Meatloaf. Hey, Mom! The meatloaf! We want it now! A contestant on Worst Cooks in America named David made a fateful decision to make his own special version of meatloaf and mashed potatoes. This hearty dish is classic comfort food, so you might be wondering what could be so wrong with it. It turns out that quite a lot could go wrong. For some reason, David decided to make a meatloaf shaped like a teddy bear. Well, it was supposed to look like the cuddly stuffed animal, but unfortunately the finished product ended up looking a lot more like dry up roadkill than a stuffed bear. Something wrong with the meatloaf? More importantly, it certainly didn't look like anything you would want to eat. To be a successful cook, your food has to taste good, but it should also look appealing. Unfortunately for David, his attempt to make a teddy bear meatloaf definitely failed the eyeball test. He might have had high hopes for his creative take on meatloaf, but instead it became one of the most head-scratching moments from Worst Cooks in America. Rainbow Sprinkles Come on, twinkle, twinkle, baby, twinkle, twinkle. One of the contestants came up with an interesting take on a shrimp dish that won't soon be forgotten. Shrimp is always a popular ingredient with foodies and cooks alike, but this doesn't mean it can't be easily ruined in the wrong hands. The young woman in question decided to make a shrimp dish with a medley of vegetables, including carrots and potato wedges. Potatoes. You might be thinking, so far so good, but then she kept going. For some reason, she decided to top off her seafood dish with a generous helping of rainbow sprinkles. This seems more like the kind of cooking decision made by a six-year-old kid who loves sprinkles than by an aspiring cook. Of course, sprinkles are delicious and can be a great addition to many kinds of desserts, but this wannabe cook has proven why sprinkles don't go with everything. Don't drink and cook. Boy, that escalated quickly. We all know about the danger posed by drinking and driving, but what about drinking and cooking on the Food Network? If the contestants on Worst Cooks in America are any indication, the network should encourage contestants to avoid hitting the sauce too heavy when they're working in the kitchen. Keep it moving. It seems like a lot of the contestants have sipped a bit of the cooking wine during the show, but one contestant named Jenny decided to indulge a little too much. Her cooking skills were in doubt to begin with, and adding alcohol to the mix did nothing to improve her results in the kitchen. However, you could probably find some cooks that insist they work better in the kitchen with a few drinks in them. Drinking and cooking can be a risky behavior and result in some less than tasty dishes. Jailhouse Burrito This burrito is delicious, but it is filling. Prisoners have been known to make their own version of wine and other alcoholic drinks while spending time in jail. Does jailhouse wine mean there's a place for jailhouse burritos? A contestant on Worst Cooks in America thought a burrito assembled from a selection of odds and ends and wrapped in paper towel would be appealing to the judges. For some reason, this shady burrito had to be left sitting with a weight on it for a while before it was ready to eat, but it's probably best to just leave it at that. I will get you your chicken burrito. Burritos are a popular and versatile item that provide cooks with an opportunity to be creative, but this cook seemed to go out of his way to commit a culinary crime. He probably won't have to do jail time for his discretion, but his jailhouse burrito is going to do some time on the list of most head-scratching moments from worst cooks in America. Dog food. Is that dog spit? How could there be so much? Contestants on cooking shows like Worst Cooks in America have been known to use some unconventional ingredients in their recipes, but one contestant in particular has gone to the dogs. The contestant in question was met with shock and disbelief from the judges when she revealed her favorite ingredient to use in the kitchen. For some inexplicable reason, she loves to use dog food in her recipes. What? 
The idea of using dog food in recipes might sound like an unappetizing joke to foodies and cooks alike, but she wasn't kidding. She insisted she was being serious about her strange choice. You have to wonder what she was thinking, but it's also a reminder that you never really know what ingredients might be in any particular dish. The decision to use dog food in a recipe is definitely one of the most head-scratching moments from worst cooks in America. Playing with knives. All right, guys, your, your time, time starts, starts now. now! There are certain basic skills that all aspiring cooks just have to master. One of these basic skills is how to use a knife properly. One of the contestants on Worst Cooks in America had a lot of trouble with this basic skill, and it cost her. The contestant was having a lot of trouble cutting vegetables until one of the judges realized she was using the dull side of the knife instead of the sharpened edge. Obvious. The contestant seemed confused even after her hapless cutting technique was pointed out to her. This is such a silly mistake for even a bad cook to make that it's likely her nerves just got the better of her in the heat of the moment. Shattered glass. You're all failing right now. Congratulations on your epic fail! Safety is an important consideration when you're working in the kitchen, whether you're trying a new recipe at home or competing on an episode of Worst Cooks in America. Sharp utensils and open flames mean you have to stay on your toes, and you also have to use the right pans when you put food into a very hot oven. One of the contestants failed to follow this rule and paid a heavy price. You screwed up. Her recipe was completely completely ruined when the glass dish she was using shattered into pieces inside the oven. She lost the pan, her recipe, and she had to clean up a very messy oven. When you find your oven filled with shattered glass and dripping food, you know things have gone very wrong in the kitchen. Candy dish. Fee fi fo fum! Give me all your candy and gum! Contestants on the popular cooking shows on the Food Network have come up with some off-the-wall recipes. Some are more off-the-wall than others, and heating up chocolate candies in a pan has to be one of the most head-scratching. This is the kind of desperation move a cook would make who has run out of good ideas. Perhaps the cook was hoping to get some points for creativity, but it was no surprise that the judges found the cooked candy to be an absolute failure. Well done, Slytherin. Well done, Slytherin. However, even if a candy won't melt in your mouth, it will definitely melt when you heat it up in a pan. Chocolate candy is a popular treat, so it's a shame to see it wasted in a misguided attempt to come up with a winning dish. The melted candy was clearly destined to be a loser with the viewers as well as the judges. Love Connection He says I love you! What? I love you! I love you too! Bobby Flay is a well-liked celebrity chef and judge on Food Network's hit television show, Worst Cooks in America. A contestant named Carla seemed to like Bobby Flay a little too much, and she wasn't at all shy about letting everyone know about her feelings. Carla repeatedly insisted that the only reason she wanted to be on the show at all was so she could meet her crush in the flesh. To his credit, Mr. Flay took all the extra attention in stride when Carla ended up being part of his team on the show. It's hard to see how Carla could have been any happier with the way things turned out for her. <laughs> to Carla's everlasting delight, she finally got her once-in-a-lifetime chance at her love connection, and it became one of the most head-scratching moments from Worst Cooks in America. Cooking oil? So which one's olive oil? Whether it's virgin olive oil, corn oil, or canola oil, these cooking oils are a basic ingredient that all cooks are familiar with when they get in a kitchen. Apparently all cooks except a contestant named Ellen. Maybe her failure to understand the correct uses of cooking oils explains how she ended up on a cooking show called Worst Cooks in America. Let's do this. It isn't as though Ellen failed to master a complicated technique or failed to identify an exotic ingredient only experts would know about, she was stumped by a bottle of cooking oil, and there's no way to spin this. Prescription for failure. No, I couldn't, because I'm blind. 
It's clear that the contestants on Worst Cooks in America are under a tremendous amount of stress to perform well. No one who watches this Food Network show would be surprised that the contestants will try just about anything to get an edge on their competition. A contestant named Donna was having trouble seeing what she was doing even when she was wearing her glasses. You see me. In an attempt to solve the problem, she came up with an interesting fix. Donna tried wearing a second pair of glasses over the first pair in a misguided effort to see better. Needless to say, her innovative plan didn't work very well and she continued to struggle on the show. Maybe Donna needed a better prescription, but many people would agree that she also needed some better cooking skills, whether she had perfect eyesight or not. Quick Grilled Cheese Hey, baby, give me a grilled cheese deluxe and make it snappy. Worst Cooks in America featured a contestant named Kendra, who was a Playboy model before she appeared on the Food Network. Her considerable success in front of the camera as a model clearly did not translate into the same success in the kitchen. There are many variations on the classic grilled cheese sandwich, different kinds of bread, different combinations of cheeses, and other tasty fillings. It's actually kind of hard to mess up grilled cheese, unless you literally have no idea idea what you're doing in the kitchen. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! This was apparently the case with Kendra, because her grilled cheese recipe called for putting the sandwich in a blender. Her somewhat unique take on grilled cheese is hard to believe, and the judges never got an explanation that made any sense. What does make sense is that it became one of the most head-scratching moments from Worst Cooks in America. Awkward. All right, let's have Kendra and Chris step up. Food Network wants Worst Cooks in America to be an entertaining show, but the network also wants to keep things focused on food and be family friendly as much as possible. The judges and the contestants have to interact a lot on the show while under considerable pressure, and this can be tough on everyone. Everyone usually behaves themselves for the most part, however, sometimes things can get a little out of control. Like the time Anne, the judge, blind folded a contestant named Chris so he could do a proper taste test. You embarrass me! There's nothing wrong with a blind taste test until someone takes it too far, like Chris did, and then things can get awkward real fast. This failure to keep things professional on the show is why everyone should keep the blindfolds off when they're in the kitchen. Food as art. These are actually crepes. Pancakes with a French spin. Crepes are really just fancy, thin French pancakes, but can they also be a form of art? One of the judges on Worst Cooks in America was able to hold up a plate of sticky, burned crepes like it was a picture. The wrecked food was hopelessly stuck to the plate like a bug squashed on a windshield. The judge sarcastically referred to the failed dish as an example of modern art. Allow me to destroy your gallery. The dish might have been art, but it certainly wasn't anywhere near being edible. Maybe the judge's description was a little mean, even for a reality program, but it made for delicious television. You know your recipe has gone very wrong when it's derided by a judge as a take on modern art. Rachel Ray What's going on here? Rachel Ray is well known in the world of food television, and she has inspired a lot of people to cook and eat better. She is certainly a skilled chef with plenty of experience, but she's also known for her big, bubbly personality. She's also been known to show off her dancing skills a bit too much on Food Network's Worst Cooks in America. With all the antics that come from the contestants as they struggle to master their recipes, it seems like the judges would be better off providing a calming influence to counter the chaos. The show goes on! However, sometimes people like Rachel Ray just end up adding to the chaos. Rachel Ray is going to be Rachel Ray, and her fans wouldn't have it any other way because she makes for good television. Tune in to more great videos. Just tap or click and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.